kid on the road recently. Uh, did that give you confidence? I mean, has that helped build your confidence to the kind of game you have today? Uh, really, every second I'm on court, I, I try to keep myself confident, keep myself up. So it's like, try to step up. The ball's rotating me as I try to hit the shot. Yeah, that's what it is. Does it, does it make a difference today, knowing that Eric's out, that you know that maybe they, they need you even more than normal? Uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a missing spot that I, that I had to be filled. The coach came in, he told us that Eric wasn't feeling well, so it was about my time to step up and play that role. Sorrell, before the season, who talked on the court, said, what's your nickname? You said the microwave. Was that a microwave moment today? I think so. Uh, just try to hit as many shots as possible to give our team a lead, maintain the lead. This is Mason Viner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on capitalsportsblog.com and terptalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast. Those type of moments that you came to Maryland to, to play in? Uh, I love the moments. Uh, fans just brought so much energy. We just played off the energy. We just tried to keep it rolling. 14 points for you this afternoon in a career. Uh, what, do you, what, what do you feel you were able to take advantage of out there? What looks were they giving you? Uh, I just tried to give whatever the defense gave me. They sagged off, try to knock down the side, play it up tight, get to the basket as much as I can. Whatever defense gave me. Defensively, you, you tightened up and brought a lot more energy in the second half. Is that something that you talk yourself into, or that just happened? To you? Uh, I try to keep the, the def- defensive mindset. That's the thing I believe that keeps me on court more than just offense. Uh, so I just try to lock in and just play as much defense as I can. Did it change the defensive game plan when they didn't have CJ Jackson today? That his absence that changed anything? Uh, no, nah, we just still try to keep a level head and play the same way we practice. Just locked in and try to not let our defender score, no matter who we guard. Marcus talked about how he wishes he could get you more minutes. Fine. Has have he? You had conversations with him about that, and has he? Has he said that he's hope he's been trying to find ways to get you on the floor a little bit more? I don't really worry about none of that. I just <laughs> wait till he called my name. I try to always stay ready. Our talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C., Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. My heart is give everything I got. Try to give me the challenges defensively, not letting my man score. So I, I just said that was my role, and I just try to stick to that. It seemed like a game of runs today. You guys would make a big run, then they'd have a run coming back, and then you ended with a nice run. What, what was up with that? Was uh, Coach told us that they are going a couple runs. Just keep keep our composure and just just answer back with a run. That's just what we did. We just ended the game on top. I know you said early January when you had the game against Rutgers that the thing that you've most improved since you got here was your defense. Since then, what do you think is have, have you worked on the most and improved the most? Uh, probably catching Sue Coach talking to me about uh, being able to knock down a shot when Anthony or one of our guards are driving and kicks the balls out. So that's, that's my thing I've been most working on the most. As much as you're saying you just want to be ready, you know, how much does do games like this just kind of make you feel a little bit better about everything? Every game builds my confidence. Probably, I think it builds everybody's confidence. Uh, got players on the bench always encouraging, keeping us up, so that helps out a lot. When you practice from the corner, and you were deadly from the corner today. How many thousands of shots does it take for you to have that rhythm that that ball comes flying at you and you are ready to let that rip? I'm not sure how many shots. I just work out, shoot, shoot as many as I can, really. When, what point did you start becoming a dead eye with that shot? Uh, see when I got on campus. Other than defense, I just try to work on my shot. When Ayala left late in the first half, when you got something, what was kind of the mentality there? To, uh, you want to make an impact? I think you had the last six points for the Maryland the end uh, Just fill the spot. Eric brings a lot to our offense. Uh, a lot of he knocks down a lot of shots. He's very aggressive, so I just try to come in with that same mindset. Thank you. Thanks.